Today I will briefly talk about one of the main marine features in Dubai, the Dubai Dry Docks. A dry dock is essentially uh, a large area, um, near, near, generally near a port or on the coast, that can be flooded and then it will be locked off and the water can be pumped out of it so that uh, a ship can come in and then be repaired in the dry, or on the other hand, you can build a ship and then it can be uh, ready to be set off to sea. The Dubai dry docks have been in operation since 40 years and they are a shipyard of choice. They are the largest dry dock in the Middle East. They have approximately 350 uh, ship services uh, every year and those are mainly ULCCs and VLCCs which are ultra large and very large crude carriers. It is also a shipyard of choice for uh, repairing uh, convers and, and conversion of ships and new build, and also building of uh, offshore platforms. In particular, um, I have been involved in one project. It was an amazing uh, sustainable um, renewable energy project. Uh, essentially, they're building an HVDC, a high voltage direct current uh, converter platform, which will be uh, then loaded out onto a vessel and shipped to um, the North Sea, 100 kilometers away from Germany at a sea level of 40 meters depth. It's a very difficult task because this is a very heavy um, platform and uh, you can imagine that the, the, the operations of transferring it uh, from, from the land to a ship are extremely sophisticated. This platform will then act as a link between uh, the, the wind farms and the mainland. It is estimated that approximately 900 megawatts of um, electricity will be transferred from the wind farms to the mainland, which is approximately uh, the annual consumption of one million German households. The civil engineers were involved in this project in uh, all phases, from planning, design, uh, and it's currently being constructed. We as civil engineers are involved in um, 3D finite element modeling. Uh, we need to make sure that, for example, differential settlements are below 10 mil. You can imagine something that's maybe as uh, heavy as a building and it cannot settle more than 10 mil. It's, uh, it's a really difficult task. These are the, the challenges we face uh, on, on our daily projects and that's the greatness of working uh, as a civil engineer, especially in the Middle East where we have these uh, challenging and very large-scale projects. I would highly recommend a career in civil engineering to, uh, to a young person. It allows you flexibility, it allows you to work uh, outside of your, of your country, you, you're not restricted to any boundaries, you can, uh, you can meet fantastic people, uh, you work with uh, really interesting people, it's a multicultural environment and uh, it's, uh, the world is out there to explore as a civil engineer. You can actually see uh, some of the projects that you've worked on being constructed to being realized and uh, that brings a, a great sense of pride to yourself because you know that uh, you've actually worked on something concrete, you're bringing a, an improvement to, to the society.